Oh, oh, hello. Sorry, I wasn't quite expecting guests. But actually, it's rather good fortune that you're here. You see, I'm in a bit of a fix. I've been called away urgently, and I need someone to take care of my creatures for me. They just need feeding and tending, generally an eye kept on them. Do you think you might be able to help? Okay. So, first off, just lift up your wand and point it at my case. Splendid. Off you go. Welcome to my shed. I do make yourself at home, and feel free to take a closer look at anything that catches your eye. There are plenty of things to explore. But how about pointing your wand at the potion bottles on my desk and the shelf behind? Have a look at the magnifying glass next to the scroll on the desk. Or see what happens when you point your wand at the papers on the chair to the right of the door. Now, we'd best get started with my creatures. You'll need to prepare a few things before you meet each of them. To begin with, point your wand at the scroll on my desk and choose one. Now here is a gesture that you'll need to make to complete the spell. Just trace the form you see in front of you with your wand. Right, time to learn how to mix a potion to ease a Grapporn's cold. Poor thing, she's not really herself today, but she'll be happy to see that you're here to help her. So just follow the illustration on the scroll. Well done, but you're really coming along, you know. Well done. Uh, now your potion is ready for my grapple, you just need to go out and meet her. the left of the pagoda, you'll find the Graphorn enclosure. Now, make sure you stay on your toes. She's wonderful, but she can be a bit bold at times. She's one half of the very last breeding pair in existence. Now, let's get started. You'll see a scroll in front of you for instructions. I've left instructions to help. They're just there on the scroll in front of you.
Well done. Remarkable. I've rarely seen her so well behaved. You can stay and keep her company if you want, or you can head back to my shed and get ready to meet some of my other creatures. I see you found my creature map. My research for Fantastic Beasts and where to find them has taken me all around the world. And I have some notes here about all my different creatures. You're welcome to have a look if you'd like. Just select the pins with your wand and I can tell you a bit more. Naturally found in Africa. A rumpants is sometimes mistaken for rhinos from a distance. They won't attack unless very much provoked, but if they do charge, the results are usually catastrophic. Ockamies can be found in the Far East and India. They are Quranic pixel, meaning they can shrink or grow to fit any available space. Mithras are burrowing creatures can be found across Great Britain. Grapworms are found in mountainous European regions and are a rare but stunning sight. Bowtruckles are a tree guardian creature. They can be found in the west of England, southern Germany and certain Scandinavian forests. Found Frank in Egypt, but the Thunderbird's natural habitat is Arizona. Still deciding which of my creatures to meet next. Well, perhaps you could help me out and check my Okami nest then. I have an egg due to hatch any second now, so it would be great if you wouldn't mind going and see how the little one's getting along. Let's show you how to assemble this box to release a rare bird call, a Native American method of calling the powerful Thunderbird. Excellent. You've successfully completed the spell. And now, up to the Thunderbird. But take care, as he's a wee bit sensitive to strangers, so this could be quite a challenge. Well, you can't miss the Thunderbird enclosure. You just look out for those impressive red rock formations. I don't like to have favourites but it's hard not to be taken aback by the Thunderbird. What a creature. I rescued Frank in Egypt. He was being held against his will, and I promised to return him to his natural habitat. Oh, he's a bit sensitive to strangers, so please approach him with caution. Take a look at the scroll over there for instructions, and see if you're up to the task.
Well, you certainly have a way with Frank. It's rare that he'd trust anyone, really. It's impressive how quickly he took to you. Feel free to spend more time with him, or you can just head back and meet another creature. Poor Arumpin. She's quite lonely, really, and I'm afraid you'll have to coax her out if you want to meet her. This one's a little tricky, but trust me, it is worth the effort. That's a fantastic job you're doing there. I couldn't have hoped for a better helper. Quite delighted you popped by. You've been quite brilliant with my creatures. I think they may have taken a liking to you. Well done, you've completed the spell. And I'm absolutely certain that the Arumpet will find you captivating with this potion. She'll be sure to do anything for you. See the large wooden structure to the right of the shed? That's the Enrumpent enclosure. Now she may look intimidating, but she's nothing more than a soppy puppy, really. You'll just need to move slowly, as you don't want her to charge you. Well, I've left instructions to help her, just there on the scroll in front of you. Excellent. Well done. I think she took quite a liking to you. Uh, feel free to spend a little more time here, or you can head back into the courtyard and the shed to meet another creature. It's up to you.
Oh no, the niffler's gone again. Of course he has, old bugger. Oh, wait, no, wait. I think he's hiding in his burrow. Right. I've got a plan to entice him out. So he has a predilection for anything shiny, and I know he's had his eye on a few of my belongings, so let's go and gather them from around the courtyard and see if we can use that to tempt him out. Right. So point your wand at the door and head out to the courtyard and start collecting. Brass button. I'm not as obsessed with that one. Now she may look intimidating, but she's nothing more than a soppy puppy, really. You'll just need to move slowly. Good show, you found the belt buckle. I've left instructions to help, they're just there on the scroll in front of me. I don't like to have favourites, but it's hard not to be taken aback by the fun of those. What a good one. Oh, excellent work, you found the coin. Take a look at the scroll over there for instructions and see if you're up to the task. Now, make sure you stay on your toes. She's wonderful, but she can be a bit bold at times. She's one half of the very last breeding pair in existence. Now, let's get started. You'll see a scroll that's splendid. You've collected all the shiny pieces you need to try tempting the niffler. I've left instructions to help, they're just there on the scroll in front of me. The Niffler burrow is found just at the base of that tree to the left of the shed. See it? Right, time to meet the Niffler. Let's present him with the shiny items and see what he makes of them. I think it's doing the trick. Yes, here he comes. Here comes the nipper. Now that he's here, complete the gesture in front of you with your wand to get to know him better. You see what he's hiding in his pouch. We don't want him to have his paws on anything he shouldn't now, do we? Well, why not see him play with his collection? That was quite brilliant. By all means, stay a while with this little fellow, or you can return to the courtyard.
bow truckles are intensely shy creatures, so to get them to come down from their tree and meet you, I suggest preparing something to help coax them towards you. They're particularly partial to fairy eggs, so let's collect some for them as a treat. No, there are none there. Wait, try the next leaf. Great, well done, you found some. Now pick each one off from the leaf for your one and place it in the pot. Wonderful, all done. Now point at the door to go out to the courtyard and meet the bow truckles. The tree with the bow truckles is just to the left of the bamboo forest and to the right of the pagoda. Right, follow the instructions on the scroll and let's see if we can help the bow truckles feel less shy. I've left instructions to help, they're just there on the scroll in front of you. The bow chuckles are certainly ready for something to eat. Follow the instructions on the scroll, and let's see if we can help the bow chuckles feel less shy with some fairy eggs. Oh no, so bow truckles have been known to sometimes attack woodcutters if they feel their homes are being threatened. Perhaps best try offering him some wood lice to calm him down. Now quick, follow the instructions on the scroll. Well done. Like I said, with them being so shy, it can actually be tough to get bow truckles to meet them too soon. Uh, head back to my shed and just look at the scroll for what to do next. Look up. Snap dragons. They've already gone. Sorry, quick, can you just help me catch the remaining doxy? Wondrous skills. Keep going. Wondrous skills. Keep going. Thanks for the help. They're not always that easy to handle. A bit like catching the golden snitch. Well, he must be around here somewhere. He can't have gone far, he's just a baby. Iridescent plumage. So beautiful. The Ockhamies are quite remarkable, you know. They're coranoptixic, you see, which means they can shrink or grow to fit available space. That's why I recommend trying to keep a teapot handy, just in case you need to make the Ockhamie a little easier to handle. This um, little one is rather partial to a cockroach or two. Why not conjure up a snack for him, or, or see him in action coiling around the bamboo?
Well done. I'm taking great care of all my creatures. You really did a quite brilliant job, and you've been very helpful, so thank you. They certainly seem to like you, so um, or just feel free to stay and keep my creatures company for as long as you like.